Hey everybody, it's Everyday Nerdy here, and we're going to be working on Zaku's leg. And the goal is to have his leg done in less than 20 minutes. So, let's go. So, I already started with by making a cube square in 3D, and I added symmetry, which I started ahead of time. And so, we're going to start with this cube, and then we're going to crease the top and bottom layers. Then when you crease that, you can shrink the crease parts, and you're going to have like this nice, you know, thigh kind of cylinder look here. I mean, you, I guess you could have done a cylinder if you wanted to. I don't know. I just didn't want to do it. I prefer doing this. So now with symmetry it makes it easier to adjust the thigh parts, like the side thighs, you know, just, you know, play around with it until I can get it to look kind of like Zaku's thighs, which I learned Zaku's a, he's a thick boy. Look at that. Th those aren't no regular thighs. All right. Now the next piece is the foot. So do another square 3d make sure it's all creased though that's the only difference then you increase the size so it can match the profile look I, you don't have to do some of the stuff i kind of like the pushing of the edge forward i don't really know why i did it always include symmetry though and then just you know slowly try to make it match the foot it's the best thing i can do you know just tweaking things one thing i did notice was the foot and Zaku that I was watching with the schematics didn't seem to match perfectly with the figure that I have. So I try to go kind of between both worlds and see what would happen. Now here I goofed up. I added an edge, but if you notice, the edge wasn't at the top. It was only on the side profile. So yeah. And then of course you got to add a little drafting. You can just pull it in with the, with the edges or you tweak faces. This is kind of... Mesh mode is easier to do this type of tweaking versus not mesh mode. So repeat creating a cube, make sure all edges are creased. And this is going to be the top layer of the foot. You could have done this by creating it with just a regular cube, not in mesh mode, and then just use, a, use the, what's the tool, the body splitting tool to cut through the body like you create a line and you cut through it like we've done plenty of times but I don't know I I thought it'd be nice to use mesh mode and I did have a request saying why don't you use mesh mode a bit so you know try things differently and see how it goes and so far it's not it's not it's not looking too bad it's I'm not super pleased with it but it's a start now that for this part of the foot you can do many ways you can do a cube and then just pull at it I just created a sketch instead. I'm going to extrude from the sketch. I thought that was easier. Like I said, you could also just create a cube again. My extrude always starts with cutting. I'm not sure why. And after that, you know, just tweak it a little bit so it can match what's presented by Zaku. Now we're on to the waist, which this part, uh, now we're on to the waist. And this part, I did two different ways. So the center piece, I created a sketch that I would then make sure it's first it's a closed polygon sketch and then extrude it. And then once that is extrude, I'll be doing a loft for the whole waist part. And as you can see here, these will be each of the planes I'll be lofting with. And then once I have it connected, I'm going to draw a line and use split body tool so I can have that V looking bottom Trojan, I don't know what you call it, Trojan look, but it's just that skirt look that Zaku has. Now that the skirt's done, this is the hardest part. We are doing the calves. Yeah, this is the calves. This is what, yeah, these are calves for sure. So this is all done in mesh mode, as you can see. And then I take the rectangular cube 3D, put X amount of size on it, and it's oh, this this part was just I have a feeling I might have to redo this entire leg in a separate video. But this part here, oh I forgot to do symmetry. Oof, that's why it took me so long. But also, so you have to crease those edges that I'm creasing because I'm gonna create a crease. And then once that crease is set up, it's just to pull it in so you can get that dome look on Zaku's calves. Like that's all he works out is his calves because his calves are huge. So, 
and then adjusting that. And I got this idea from a video. <clears throat> it was somewhere on YouTube of somebody doing Zaku's leg, and this is where I got the idea was to crease the inner part to make the dome, and then to crease the top part to give that flat look on the top and the bottom. And then, like, this was hard. Like, this was really hard. Yeah, I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not happy with how it came out at all. Because even after all this is done, how you do to make it hollow is, um, you know, I'm going to take that same body and just do like a, what's, what's it called? Ooh, I'm forgetting the word right now. It is when you just make the body smaller and then you combine it, but instead of using a join, you do a cut. I don't know why the words are slipping out of my brain incorrectly right now. But yeah, this was just a bunch of tweaking. I don't, it's like, it's, it was hard and I'm not happy at all with how it came out but I know that you only get better with practice and I can't hold on to a section forever and never eventually finish the videos like I understand this I think I might redo Zaku completely honestly under a twitch and just have it because I don't have to worry about editing I could just do it if people see me fail so because this Zaku this this calf part took me like poof I think it was at least like 10 tries and this this was the best one I think so I think there might have been a better one but I didn't record it so I goofed yeah I goofed big time but yeah you can see how the calf parts looking around and I just have to slowly adjust it it's just looking back it makes me sad because I don't I don't like how it came out I don't but I mean maybe there's someone out there who has a way better way of doing it which probably is in the video that I watched oh, I gotta find it I might do a link in the description of the video that I used as reference. I didn't understand the language they were speaking in, so I just, you know, visually watched it and like, let me see if this can kind of help me. And it did. It did. It helped me a lot. So I did cheat one thing. So after I finished this, I just used my favorite tool called Split Body, so I can split and do the outline you see on the profile, <laughs> because. Because I was struggling. It was hard. It was real hard. Extremely difficult. And then, yes, yeah, split body tool. I'm drawing a line. And I'm going to split it. Because I am soft. And weak. And voila. And then now, <clears throat> now to do. Now to do more tweaking. Because I'm that. I just. Oh. It's kind of painful for me to watch this. It's just. It's not good. I don't, I don't like it, but you only learn by just repeating and trying it over and over and over again until eventually something works. Oh yeah, I try to use the shell technique to hollow it out because that's what they did in the video and it did not work for me. That's why I had to do the whole cloning situation and then just adjust the body and then cut it and boom, it became hollow. It was the best thing I could do. So, till next time, till I get better, till I figure out my life with making Zaku's calf, we're just going to have to keep going on to the next piece and just, you know, keep chucking away, and keep trucking away. So, all right now, so to do Zaku's knee, first you got to create these sketches that you see right here. Once these sketches are done, which is easily done with a circle, line, or spline, once you have those enclosed polygons done, you can then extrude them, which you'll see shortly. Then once you screw, extru extrude, I can't speak. Once you extrude them, you'll see I just adjust them little by little. You know, tweak, make some drafting points. You know, try to adjust it to make it look a little bit better. It's not exactly where I want it. Yeah. And now that once that's done, we're gonna go to the part that I struggled severely. That it was literally almost a whole twenty minute video. I'm gonna do it in like five seconds. So. First, you create a pipe. You draw a line and use that line as a path for the pipe. Once you do one pipe feature, you're going to make another pipe feature slightly larger than the original pipe. Once that is done, so you're going to use the path that's been made and you're going to select it and then do plane along path, which is up here. And once you use that feature, you're literally going to put a plane for each part of where those bezel pieces are. 
And once you do that, which you'll see, you can now slice the larger pipe that you made where each plane has been made. You will have sections where the, you have sections that will be the larger round bezel piece. And then you have other sections that are nothing. Those sections you can just hide or you can remove. I don't trust delete, don't remember why. Now, once you've done all that, you do the last thing. You put a bezel on the end. And voila, look how cute they all are. Just rinse and repeat. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot quicker than the whole 20 minutes I did last time. Yay. <laughs> So now here you're going to see the final result and watch this one part that I know, well I not know, that I messed up and now I know for sure I have to redo Zaku when I'm streaming it or something. Let me zoom in, let me zoom in. Look, it's not connected. Frustrated, extremely. But you know what? It was my fault for not having the line touch it perfectly. Till next time. Bye.